Sometimes you feel like a nut. Welcome to Railroad Corporation. I am your conductor, Peanut, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try to build some railroads and make a corporation out of it, and not just a mom and pop operation, I guess. Uh, I got this game over the summer sale, and as you can probably see, where it says continue campaign, I've been playing the campaign just to just to get my hands around the game and figure out how it all goes. And just recently, they finally came out. We mostly call it a sandbox mode but for some reason they call it free game down here and uh, that's what we're gonna start today we're gonna see how it goes and uh, if you guys like the gameplay and how it's going and you want to see the campaign I'll start the campaign over uh, but let's dive right into the free game oh uh, yeah small size sandbox or medium see you come in here it says sandbox but up here it says free game I don't get it uh, yep that's me and uh, well we're, we're, we're already on green so that's that's perfect for me um, Difficulty normal. Uh, we're going to kind of go the way it runs in the campaign. Uh, so you have an overdraft of $50,000. Uh, that's roughly uh, what you get in the campaign process right now. Um, initial capital, $100,000. Uh, yeah, we're going to need that to get started. All locomotives are researched. Or do I want to go need to research each locomotive? I'm going to go right from the get-go where we got to do all the research all over again uh contracts are always good uh but really i don't look in i'll i'll activate them but i don't think i'm going to really look into them right off the get-go because really off the get-go you're just trying to get your corporation off the ground hr department staff hiring uh yeah we want to hire some staff for to do stuff in things um Random placing of town and resources. Uh, can I? Uh, well, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Um, seed generation. Uh, oh, there we go. That's that's the one we're going to be on. So um, uh, let's hopefully it's good. Uh, so there are no special objectives or goals. Initial capital overdraft can be customized. Uh, we did that. This map can be played with all locomotives available from the beginning. Or you can research them. Yeah, I've already gone over this. Certain game mechanics can be enabled to disable position town cities. But yeah, okay. Blah, blah, blue. We went over that. Uh, so we're going to start off on the small size sandbox. I actually have one going on the medium size. And um, yeah, but I think we'll just start small. See how this kind of goes in this channel. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Let's start the game. Choo-choo, baby. Choo-choo. All right, uh, Twin Rivers, there are no special objectives. Yeah, yeah, the initial capital. Okay, we, we already read that. Uh, we don't need the briefing. We're good to go. So the first thing I do when I log on to any uh, start off on a map is first thing you do is you pause the game. Just pause the game because uh, you got to do a lot to begin with. So the, the map blows right up into the only town that you're going to start in. So this is our, our, our beginning point, Patterson. And... Uh, all right, so there, so everything's around a river here, huh? Um, going over is not too bad. So what you see in towns, most of the towns here, is that obviously the things in red are things the town demands, and the things in green are things that need to be shipped out. Uh, so you think we can supply passengers and letters? So the first thing I'm seeing is you got a town pretty close right here. Uh, well, obviously they have a post office and passengers on both sides so we can set up a rail yard uh rail line right from patterson over to bloomington and we can do passengers and mail um just trying to see what else we got around here i'm not gonna look too far away because we don't have that much cash at all so what you also can see is there is a wheat field here they supply wheat um oh, also in the same town is a farm now, the only thing that kind of sucks is, like, I can bring a rail yard up here, grab some wheat, but I can't just deliver the wheat right to the farm. I actually have to, the train, you can't load the train and unload the train in the same town, which kind of sucks. Um, this town here does not need no wheat. Well, that kind of sucks as well. So right now, I have no use of going up there. No use. Uh, the nearest town that needs wheat is right down here, but what I could do in the beginning is 
I could really tick off the farm up here that requires wheat and they produce uh, food and hide. What you can do, and I don't know if I want to do this right from the get-go, you can buy land and I can produce, uh, build my own farm down here and do that. That's not what we're going to do. Um, let's dive right into our office. Uh, where's my office here? Uh, there's my office right there. So right now, all we can do is lay down rail yards, uh, railroads. Uh, we're going to upgrade this. Yeah, it's a little pricey, 10 grand, uh, because I want to research and development. We need to get right into that. So we'll come right into research. So these are the locomotives that are in the game now. This game is in early access, by the way. So you can see all the locomotives that are available and all the research you have to do to get to, well, I don't know. It's hard to say what locomotive is the best, depending on what you got to use it for. Um, so I'm going to start my research off with all locomotives power, gain three, three horsepower. Uh, the reason why I want to unlock this because I can go right from this to unlock in the next locomotive, which is a John Bull. So we're going to do that and we're going to put all of our researchers, we have 10 of them, they're all going to go right on that guy right there. So that is the start. Um, so that brings us down to 80 grand. Now remember, I can overdraft by 50,000, so technically, let's not stretch it. I got another 130,000 to play with, but the second you hit that overdraft, if you go over, you're fired and your corporation is uh, sunk. All right, so let's go down here and start by laying some track. I wish we could change the way. <sighs> so I guess I can't change the way my, my depot is right out of Patterson. So that's gonna be there, that kind of sucks. Sucky sucks. Um, wow, that's 25 grand because I gotta come out and go right over a bridge, you know, right across the river. Uh, let's try to make it not as long of a bridge as we need to have it. So we'll go to there. And then obviously, uh, let's see here. Where else could I be going from there? Uh, let's bring the track up here so you can see the speeds in the circle. So you try to keep up at the 120 as best as you can. Now you don't have to worry about when you connect to depots. Because you can see, like, while well, you're going right to the city, ah, it's okay. They'll they'll move everything around for us. And come over here and click confirm. So that that uh, rail yard that we uh, we just put down is going to cost us thirty eight grand, basically. Boom! So they move everything around for us. How sweet of them to do that. All right. So the next thing that we need to do, well, there's only one locomotive available available to us, and that's well, the best friend. Uh, so we just bought a locomotive. Now, the one thing I need to do is one of these stations, I need to set up a repair shop because as the train goes, it's going to get worse and worse. It needs to be repaired somewhere. Every station does have a refill station for coal right off. So when you, you don't have to do that right off. Okay. So what we need to do is set up a route, obviously. So we're going to add a station. There's only two stations that we uh, have access to is Patterson. So we'll add that and then add a station, which is Bloomington. Yeah, we got two stations. Uh, how about that? So in Patterson, let's go ahead and we're going to load up. Right now, they're only, uh, there's only one passenger waiting and one, one male. But down here, you can see this train can only haul 40 tons. But taking one of each, I'm running up 27 tons. Um, I'm going to try taking two passengers. I think uh, it will fill up eventually. So when we get to Bloomington, we can want to unload the two passengers to the city and the mail right to the post office. And you know what? We're going to do the same. We're going to load up in Bloomington with two passengers and bring back mail just the same. We got to, you know, this will bring in revenue right off the get go. Uh, so always make sure you hit apply. And let's start this on slow so our train can get going here. So you can see cargo is loading. Uh, he did load up one passenger, uh, one set of passengers. Now he's gonna wait for another set of passengers. It'll give us some time to get some things squared away. So that leaves me with 28 grand. It looks like this city is gonna be the bigger of the two right off. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna select this guy right over here, this station. So you can see right near filling station, one one, one yeah, I can I can say words, one locomotive at a time can be refilled with fuel. 
So basically, if you have two trains coming into the depot at the same time, it's only going to fill one train at a time. Right now, that is fine for us because, well, we only got one train. But we're going to upgrade that so we can add a new facility. So you can see that opened up four spaces. I can now add a repair shop, which takes two rooms. So we're going to go ahead and install that. Um, apparently, we're still not loaded up with another, <laughs> another passenger. Uh, so we're waiting on that. That's fine. So let's come back over here to the T1. So now you can see in Bloomington, we got a repair station down there. If you click on that once, it'll just service the train once. I always set up my trains to be repaired every time they hit a certain depot somewhere. Uh, so we're going to apply that. So when that train get, finally does get to Bloomington, he is going to get repaired and uh, refueled. There we go. He finally loaded up with another passenger. So yeah, he's... Uh, He's getting going. So what we can do is, let's close this on out. You can actually zoom on down here and get a really kind of a close-up view. I'm still trying to, the controls are a little bit wonky. I can't angle any more than that. Where is our best friend here? Here he comes. He's coming around the mountain when he comes. So our corporation is off the road in a way. Uh, so I have 22 grand here left, which is not much, but we'll make money from passengers and the post office mail going back and forth. Ah, uh, yes, the great locomotive, the best friend. Uh, yeah. Go, Gadget, go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we'll speed up time just a little bit so I can show you when he gets there. Now, we are going to lose some cash as it goes along because we are paying for uh, the depot upkeeps and our office as well. So, on fast speed, you can see contracts. They're just letting you know what contracts are available here and there, but um, we don't have the manpower for that. And you can see how fast this T1 is going on even really good speed. But if I were to do research, I could, you know, upgrade the, T uh, uh, the best friend pretty well. Oh, so we uh, we are already done with that research for this guy. So let's go ahead. We're going to research a John Bull. I want to put five guys in that. That'll take 130 days, which is not long at all. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to do a little bit of research on the uh, best friend. Uh, this will give him eight extra horsepower. So I'm going to put a couple guys in that. And we'll also bump the speed by four miles an hour, which is going to help him as well. Because at first, this this is what we need for, for cash. Actually, there are two places here I can purchase and eventually build companies. Um, like if I were to take wheat from here, instead of feeding the farm up here, I can feed my own farm and make my own meat and hide. So T1 is pulling into the depot. And we'll see here shortly. Let's see the cash go up. So he'll pull in. So, those are for the passengers, almost two grand for the passengers, and it was like, I couldn't read that, 3,000 something, and 647 for repairs, you can see how he's getting repaired, it didn't get refueled, he'll load back up, now look at this, this guy has already got tons of passengers waiting, and now he doesn't have to wait anymore, because they're, they're starting to realize that there's, uh, there's transportation going on here. The Peanut Railroad Corporation is on the way. So at the beginning, as you can see, it's going to take a while. So I'm going to go fast speed here so we can gain some time. Because I only got 14 grand. But while that's going on, we need to look around to see what else we can do. Now obviously, setting up... Ooh. Ooh, look at this. You see you see this what I got here? So passengers, passengers, passengers. If we run a rail yard, rail rail line all the way down here I can take a train and just go back and forth and get all these run another passenger line right along here um, the question is do I want to fork off here which is probably the best thing to do now the only problem is you can only have one train on a track a certain section of a track at a time so if I if I fork off up here to come down to Rally, or Rally, or Rally, depending on how you want to pronounce it, um, if there's a train coming along here, this guy will not go until he's off the track. That's where double lane track will come into the future. 
So yeah, we're slowly making cash. You can see we're back up to 20 grand. Uh, so this train is going to do what he needs to do. Let's go ahead and uh, build some more track. If we come off there, that's eight grand. We'll just shoot right down on there. How much is this going to cost us? 25. So here we go into an overdraft, which is something you really don't want to do. Railroad is occupied by a train. Uh, yes, it is, but I should be able to build on it because the train's already gone past. <sighs> Come on, T1. You can do it. Earn me some cash, will you please? And get off the railroad track so we can build at least down to here. So it looks like the T1's gonna have to fund us for a little bit. There we go. Uh, so I made enough cash to where I didn't go into an overdraft. That's good. I like that a lot. It's funny, I changed my picture to my, oh, uh, whatever. Apparently now I'm that dude. Alright, so now the T1's going back and forth. Let me go ahead and check on this. Wow, research is completed everywhere. Um, the best friend? Uh, yes, don't show me this anymore. We're going to take an overdraft to start research on max speed to get that guy going a little bit faster. And since I'm pretty much in my overdraft, I'll put every researcher on there. And that's not going to take any time at all. So I am paying interest on my uh, overdraft. You can see something like 48%. Uh, yes, I don't need to see you, lady. We, we know what's going on. I have an overdraft. Hopefully the T1 will, will bring us a good amount here. So while I need more cash, uh, where is it? Uh, labor, no, contracts right here. See if there's anything for Patterson. No, deliver deliver wood and deliver lumber um, well I don't have a depot anywhere at those two places so nope no good contracts for me right now well at least we're out of the overdraft so I don't have to pay interest on that anymore Woohoo! so I got $919 in the bank account um, look out because here we come uh, new contract, deliver wood. Well, I don't have anywhere to deliver wood. Wood seems to be very popular. There is logging over here. That's where the wood process starts. Uh, logging. And that's lumber. What are they actually calling wood? Lumber, deliver wood. Well, okay, I just said logging. That is wood. Okay, way to go, Pina. You're on top of your game, like always. Um, so let's... Yeah, I have no contracts anywhere near for us. So in the beginning, it's usually kind of slow, as you can see, even running at three times the speed. The, the best friend is, uh, well, he, he, is he your best friend? I'm not sure. Uh, contract completed. Pulling mass. Let's go ahead and start you on that. And I'm also going to do, um, let's bump up reliability as well. And do those two. A pulling mass uh, by an extra 10 tons. I'm By doing that, I might be able to add more load to this and I can make more profit going back and forth. How about that? Obviously, buying the John Bull is what I want to do for this route here. Going from Bloomington to Raleigh down to Tulane. Uh, once we get that train going, a second train just doing passengers here. And after I started running passengers back and forth from here, like I could, the post office here, eventually a post office will come down to here and down to here and I can transport mail as well. But in the future, what I'm thinking about doing, it's not going to take much to run a rail, rail line up to here, to Miramar. We'll grab some wheat and I probably will build a farm down here and we'll make our own meat and leather. And then I can deliver meat to like Bloomington along a train here. Because in the future, you can get trains that can haul quite a bit. So we just have to keep an eye, our eye on demands and uh, supply for the time being. 
So the John Bull is, I don't want to say only 23,000, but uh, his pulling mass is 65 tons compared to now 40 tons for this guy. Uh, let me click on this guy. So, yeah, he's still at 40 tons. We're at his limit, basically. I'm hauling 39 tons out of 40. Um, and see, I'm probably hauling too much because the max speed is only 10 miles an hour because I have too much of a load on him. But I, I would hate to cut back a passenger because... Yeah, he'll pick up a lot of speed if I do that. Alright, so we're going to cut back the amount of passengers. Let's apply that for now. So now when he comes here... Now we're going to see him. He's going to be a lot faster, and I'll probably make more money doing it that way by kicking people off. Uh, so now by only hauling 27 tons out of 40, I can hit a max speed of 32 out of 42. So yeah, we'll try that. Um, I probably should, uh, let's see, do I want to venture into the John Bull at this point? Hmm. I mean, uh, you got to be very careful about doing the overdraft because the interest can hurt you early on more than you know. I'd really would like to get another another locomotive going, another line of income. The problem is I'm taking up the same rail yard, a rail line right here. But I mean, if I can get these three lines going, that's a lot of money transferring back and forth. I can always uh, got some land available there to buy. Also got land here available. They need some cotton at the factory to make textiles. Anyone here need textiles? No, they don't. Uh, but they do over here. Now see, this is what would work. So in the future, I could uh, haul wheat down to our, our farm, which will make meat and leather. I can then run the leather down here. And eventually if I can find cotton and make textiles here, I can run the textiles up here and we can make clothes possibilities are brewing as we speak all right t1 uh you're going back and forth a lot better you're bringing us in more cash i think it's time to buy the john bull all right so you need to go to bloomington sir and you're going there empty-handed and then you're going to go to rally so in bloomington Let's see, you can hold 65 ton. Oh, no, no, no mail, no mail. It's all passengers here. Um, slows them down quite a bit, 18 out of 32, but that is a good, I, I think we're going to try that. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do the same thing. Oh, look at that. He has five pa uh, pa passengers waiting. Uh, yeah, I stutter there because I'm excited. Let's go ahead and load five of those there. And when you're in Bloomington, you're always going to get repaired. So there's a T2. Now, since he's going the same direction, he can follow the T1. But he's probably going to stop at this junction until the T1 enters. Or not. He went right in. Okay. Now, the thing, like I said before, at this rail yard, I can only repair one at a time and refuel one at a time. But we only got two trains, so I don't want to spend money on that just yet. But now the T2 is kind of waiting for the T1 to get out of the way. And now the T2 is on his way. Um, the good news is we still got 14 grand in the bank account. And slowly but surely, the T1... See, now the T1, uh, we must have finished the research. He can now haul up to 50 tons. Let's go back to my research here. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about aging on the best friend. Because usually what I do is... When the best friend is finally worse to wear, we'll swap him out and get a better, better train. Um, let's start research on all locomotives, fuel consumption, 5% less. That's always good. Uh, we'll just put 
two researchers on that. I mean, that's, you know what? Just one. It's not too big. Uh, it will unlock, get us to where we can research a DeWitt, but right now, I'm more focused on this guy. So, uh, let's do power. Uh, let's do pulling mass. And let's put uh, four researchers on both. And since I got one researcher left over, I'll... Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Wrong. That's wrong. Two on that. Four on that. So I want four on pulling mass, four on power, and two on that guy right there. All right. That leaves us with six grand. What I want to do now is, why those guys are running around... Actually, no, wait. Where's my T1? All right, since, uh, it, yeah, his pulling mass is better. So his max speed now is back up to 37. Um, he's going back to Patterson. What does it look like if I add that second passenger again? So, yeah, now he says better speed. So let's go ahead and do this. Do this. There, that, does, that, that should be good. Always hit apply. There we go. All right, with 17 grand, I do want to upgrade my office, but I can't help myself. I want to run a rail yard right down to here. Um, a straight line should do it. 21 grand. It's going to put us in the hole just a little bit for now, but we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Overdraft has been used. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, we already paid it off? Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, the T1 just arrived. So what we're going to do... No, no, i got to get out of here. I don't want to build more track. Uh, let's bring up the T2. And now what we're going to do is... We're going to add a station. You're now going to go down to Tulane. So he's going to go from Bloomington to Raleigh to Tulane. Then he's going to go back to Raleigh. So let's go ahead, or Raleigh. And when he gets done with Raleigh, he'll go back to the top, back up to Bloomington. Um, so in Tulane, you're going to unload those five passengers and you're gonna load five passengers and when you get it back to rally unload five passengers who you don't have many passengers waiting but uh, it, it, it will all work out it's, it's gonna be fine all right let's speed up time a little bit wait the T1 just crossed okay did they change something in the update this there was just an update just like two days ago. The trains are cross passing each other on the track. Hmm. Not sure what's going on there, but that is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, so that research, research is still going on. We'll just put it down to two times speed. How about that? Let's go back to our office here. As we get closer, wrapping up our our video for the day. Where's the office? I got to rotate the camera. Here's our office right here. Um, can we buy? Yes. Uh, I want. I want to definitely get some human resources in here so I can hire some people. Hmm. Grain will cost you twelve percent less. Cotton will cost you twelve percent. Wood will cost me twelve percent less. Overdraft rate reduced by 30%. Um, probably not going to hire her because I don't really go into overdraft that much. Coal and ore are 20% less. Cost of research 20%. Uh, textile, steel, paper, lumber, lubricants, leather, kerosene, meat. Everything 5% less. Cotton and wood. I think I'm going to hire this guy right here because it's 12%. These are the things I can see it's going for first, which is grain, cotton, and wood. So let's hire that guy for now. Um, yeah, just just for now, uh, that's that's good to go. Uh, so now that we're starting to get some money, I want to buy this property here for ten grand. And what we're going to get going here is we're going to construct... Uh, a warehouse would be good, but I want to... Ooh, 43 grand for a farm. Um, if I buy that right now, that puts us $20,000 in the overdraft. Um, well, we can maybe start doing that next episode. I think I think that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so that's going to bring it to the end of the first episode, guys. 
in quote unquote sandbox mode. Uh, not a bad start. Um, usually if I don't go bankrupt in the first five minutes on my overdraft, uh, usually it ends up being fine. But uh, we got two trains going, a lot of passengers are going. Eventually these two will require some mail so I can start bringing that back and forth. Uh, but yeah, everything seems to be looking pretty good for us right now. Um, we'll have to see how things go. Uh, but once we start getting into the products, so like here, we're, we're bringing passengers and mail back and forth. We don't have to pay for that. But when we come, when we finally get our food production going, when we come up here to grab the wheat, uh, yeah, you can see price per one. So if I take two wheat out of there, I want to pay $704 twice, uh, to get the wheat out of there. Uh, then if I come back and make my own meat and leather, say I deliver meat over here to Bloomington, I'll get $7,260 per one, one meat that I delivered to Bloomington. So yeah, getting a farm started is going to be helpful. Uh, that's why buying properties and making your own stuff can be profitable. But also I need to do warehouses, but we can get into that later on. Uh, if you guys like to see more, you know the little thumbs up button down below that helps me know that you want to see more. Just viewing it doesn't let me know if you want to see more or not. So that thumbs up button will help. Uh, or if you just want to leave a comment saying yes, you want to see more, then uh, even more so. Uh, but that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you next time in Railroad Corporation. But until then, have a good one.